The idea behind Silva is that we, we really want to get back to the land and reconnect with the land through art. And the idea is to get out into the wilderness and work together as a group. And what's nice about the project is that we have four artists and we come down with no preconceived ideas about what we're going to produce. And we've got two weeks and two weeks to do research, to familiarise ourselves with the landscape, to talk to locals about the history and heritage of the area and create work. And I think it's going to be a really great and exciting project because none of us have any idea what we're going to do. We all are going to help each other out. We're going to maybe collaborate in some pieces, maybe do our own, a bit of everything. But for me, the project is really important in the way that it brings artists together and people and audience together um, to share in an experience. And it's an experience of being out in the wilds. It's an experience of creating something that responds directly to that. I just think that's a very special thing. My name is Carrie Cahill. I am an artist specialising in painting and sculptures. Um, a lot of my work is directly related to the natural landscape. I'm really looking forward to the immersive nature of this project. I think that artists spend a lot of their time on their own um, in their studios. Um, it's kind of a solitary working life and this opportunity allows you to expand the idea of how you work um, you spend a lot of time outdoors with other people. I think the collaborative aspect of the project is really nice. I think it's not just about having sharing ideas, it's also about sharing support and um, living together, working together, critiquing each other and um, kind of getting yourself out of that solitary um, working environment. My name is Helena Doyle. I'm an artist from Kildare. I'm here on the Silver Residency uh, with three other artists and we're going to be making art in the woods around Loch Hine. I'm expecting it to be a lot of work or rather I'm expecting to do a lot of work. I'm expecting it to be quite physical work. Uh, just the nature of it being, the nature of it working on the hill, working in the elements, um, moving equipment and tools and materials up the hill, uh, just the physicality of working on site and responding to the site. I imagine it will be quite physical. Hi, my name is Hazel McCaig. I'm a visual artist and I work mainly with large-scale site-specific art installations. 
Well, I'm really excited about the prospect of working and collaborating with other artists. And I think what's interesting about the group is that there are a lot of different skill sets. And it's going to be really interesting to see how we collaborate and what everyone brings to the table. So I'm very excited about that because I think there's going to be some really new and exciting ideas and, uh, and I have no idea what that will be and that's what's exciting about it I think. Hi, my name is Claire Henderson, I'm an artist. I studied printmaking in college and most of my work is print based. Firstly, I was just excited to be part of something that seems kind of different. For me anyway, most of my work is making my work on my own, um, exhibiting it in a frame in a gallery. Um, to be able to go to a woods and a lake look at the area, make work based on that area, make 3D or some kind of sculptural installation is quite different for me and really, really interesting. Well, it definitely couldn't happen without the help of volunteers, local community, everybody pitching in giving us things for free, letting us use stuff, um, coming down painting signs for us, helping us at rigging. It's, uh, you know, the, the project absolutely stands on the shoulders of all the people who, who help us. I've participated in a few residencies. Um, generally, they're group in nature, but the work, the output is specific to each artist. So that's kind of different. The collaborative nature of it is different. There's a, there's a hierarchy, there's a structure where some, somebody um, has some control over some part of it more than someone else. Whereas this is very, very even, which actually is more difficult in a sense, um, but also way more interesting. And the collaborative nature of the other three artists in the project is potentially really, really good because they're used to doing it. And they're like quite um, kind of accepting, encouraging kind of people. So I think I can see it working quite well in that sense. I'm kind of inspired by some kind of interesting story that might be from a specific area that I find interesting or beautiful that I then 
hear an interesting story from the history and then make work based on that. So researching the history, folklore, local knowledge of the area and then trying to make that feed into some kind of installation piece is how I expect it's going to go. It's quite a tough terrain, it's steep and I think that's going to be physically challenging but I think in a great way where the feeling of accomplishment is going to be pretty, pretty good. And what's nice about the woodlands is there's a lot of hidden gems of sites, you know, within their little secret areas. And uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to work on site, but also very interesting for the audience to come and explore and find these sort of art pieces in, in the woodlands. I feel like the project is about trying to find new ways for people to engage with nature, um, to create a new perspective or, or just an excuse for them to, to come to this place, to make a pilgrimage for, to this place. exhibition is up, everything's finished. It was a bit of a race to the finish line, but it all got done in the end, as it always does. Um, it's been a pretty hectic few days. Uh, we've all had to support each other immensely. It's been, this, this site has been challenging. It's, it's been tough going physically, emotionally, creatively. Um, but we got there and I think everyone's really proud of what they've done and we're really excited for everyone to arrive now. We're doing our first tour at two o'clock. Um, and yeah, can't wait to hear what everyone's got to say about it. So that's been really interesting and I've learned loads about collaborating because that's a challenge too. It's not just about having meetings and you know being fair and deciding things in a unanimous manner. It's about um, actually physically helping each other out. It was really nice coming, yeah, I've come to the site every day since I've been here and it's so nice to become familiar with a place. It was very calm and serene and there's just really good vibes about these woods. And uh, so, yeah, it was an amazing experience really. Mm -hmm.